Nicola, I assume you and Christian do not have a vacuum pump at home. No, we don't. Okay. You have a vacuum cleaner. Yes. And you know how that works. Yep. Fan in there sucks up air and it takes the dirt along at the same time. Well, this is a vacuum pump that works on somewhat the same principle, mm -hmm. except this time we're going to suck the air out of this tube. And that tube ends up here in a plate and there's a little hole there, see? So we're going to, yeah. that's where the air is coming out of. And then if we put this thing called a bell jar over the top, we're going to pump the air out from inside there. So turn on the switch and watch what happens to the dial. That'll tell you what the, it's at zero now? Yep. Okay, turn it on. It's 10, 15, 20. <laughs> so now that tells us the, that the pressure is that much lower inside. Now turn it back on and watch the dial again. Or turn it off. That's all the way at zero. Okay, so we just pumped the air up. Yeah. Now we're going to do a series of sort of fun experiments or, uh, that, are, that are fun when you've got a vacuum pump. See, okay. I have a balloon here with a little piece of tape on it. Yeah. Why is the balloon the size it is? Because you blow air into it. Well, okay, but why isn't it bigger? Because you didn't blow Because I didn't blow enough air in, right? right? <laughs> okay, well, actually there are three different kinds of pressures involved with the balloon. One, the air that you blow in. Yeah. Then the stretchiness of the balloon itself. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is the outside air pressure pushing on the balloon. Oh. Right? But that's out here? But yeah, the air that's all around here like this, called atmospheric pressure. Now your hand is smaller than mine, so I'd like you to take the balloon and stick it to the side of the bell jar up real high. Okay. Okay. Now what will happen when you turn on the vacuum pump and pump away the air from around the outside of the balloon. Will it get bitter, bigger? You think so? Yeah. <laughs> All right, try it. You can see, the, see what's happening to the vacuum here, and look what's happening to the balloon. Watch it's it. It's getting bigger. Uh, I t wanted you to tape it to the side so it wouldn't get in the way of the hole, but it's obviously still working, right? Yep. Yeah. It oh, there pop. It there, no, there it covered the hole in the balloon, uh, or the hole in the plate, so turn it off. See, the air was coming in, actually blowing the balloon. Yeah. Okay. Now, neat. you recognize that. Yep. Suction it, pump. Yeah. Suction pump? Cut. A, cut. Suc a suction cup, yeah. Right. And this is the kind that go in a gun, you know, and you fire it and it sticks to something. Yeah. You know why it sticks? Um, because it sucks in the air and then the air outside pushes it Yeah, well, out? actually, it doesn't suck in the air. What happens when you push against it, it pushes the air out, and because this is elastic, sort of flexible, it tries to spring back, so it creates a partial vacuum inside there. Oh, okay. Thing. Then the outside air pressure pushes it in. Okay. Now, I licked it earlier, so I'll lick it this time. Okay, I put it on the front of the bell jar. Mm -hmm. Now, what'll happen when you pump away the air from around it? Will it fall down? Should, should okay. it? All right, try it. Notice it doesn't right away because we have already have a partial vacuum over here. Yeah. And grand, how's the pressure? Oh, there it fell. Goes. Yeah, it fell, as you predicted. I assume you've had uh, soda to drink. Yes. Yum. Okay, okay. Would, you, would you open that bottle, please? Whoa. What do you, what's the matter? It blew out air. It fizzed. It, or it fizzed, right. Yeah. Actually, there's carbon dioxide gas dissolved in here. Mm -hmm. And it was under pressure. And when you released the pressure, some of the gas came out. Oh. Okay. That's, uh, you've done that uh, lots of times as you've opened a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> and as you pour it like this, you've noticed bubbles coming out. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if it's true that when you took the top off and released the pressure, some of the gas came out of solution, what should happen if we do like that? Will it fizz even more? Should, shouldn't it? If, the, if, if my explanation is correct, that the okay. pressure was holding it in there, now let's take some pressure and see if we can get some more bubbles out. There they go. Yeah, there they come. <laughs> Most people don't realize that the pressure on top of the liquid makes a difference in how much gas can be dissolved in it. Can I turn it off now? Well, if you want, turn it off. What do you think will happen? It'll go back down. Yeah, it should stop. Then I have one last one, which is, I think, one of my favorites. Okay. I do hope that you like marshmallows. I love marshmallows. You do? Oh, yeah. good. Then you recognize what those are immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, I have one, by the way. But before you eat it, pull it in half and take a look at the inside. They're little holes. Yes, it's, see, that's sort of a foam made out of sugar. Mm -hmm. And they're little tiny holes. What's in the holes? 
air. Yes. Yeah. Can you suspect what we're going to do with them? What, what happened when we put the balloon and we took the pressure around from the outside of this? It got bigger and bigger and bigger. So what should happen to the marshmallows? <laughs> They'll get bigger. Well, let's try it. Here's a dish. Can I eat this? You, yeah, help, help yourself. Okay. If it's true they're full of little tiny holes and a foam-like thing, go ahead and turn on the pump. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> That look weird. Have you ever seen an exploding marshmallow? No. <laughs> now, uh, they'll only go so far because then we'll start to break them open. See, there they go. Now, quick, turn it off. And now you have collapsed marshmallows. Like prunes. Yes. Anyway, you can have a lot of fun with the vacuum pump, can't you? Yeah. yeah.